What is up guys, Optimus Black here bringing you another video. Um, today I'm bringing you a video on the um, pulse rifles on Crucible. So is it, basically what I'm saying is, is it worth it having high impact, uh, low fire rating uh, pulse rifles in the Crucible now? Or is it good to have uh, decent fire rate and a decent impact pulse rifle in the Crucible? So I'm going to let you guys know and I'm going to give you a brief and I'm going to let you know which one I prefer. Right now I am going to start with the high impact and the low firing pulse rifle. Okay, so I'm going to jump in a crucible again and um, enjoy the gameplay and I'll be back to tell you my opinion on it. Uh, let's see. So you see I got the Templar MSM, which is the tall high impact, low firing pulse rifle. Um well I got sites red dot ORA2, uh red dot ORA or AG rifle scope, uh Eye of the Storm, fitted stock and um, injection mold, so uh, both of which increase stability. Um then you got now I'm gonna use this one, Apple of uh, this Discord, which yeah, is danger close, full auto, single point sling, hand loaded, and okay, it doesn't have stability, it doesn't have increased stability, but anyways, <laughs> um, yep, so, I guess it ain't the best two weapons to do it on, but anyways, as you know, the high impact and the low, or the high impact and low fire rating pulse rifles were, um, down now. Uh, the high impact, low firing pulse rifles were monsters in the crystal. Are they now? Well, I don't know to be honest with you. I believe so, but um, uh, let's just see here. Um, so enjoy the video. I'm gonna ban fall. Let's get here. <laughs> see how this goes and I, I'll give you my opinion um, after the game's over. Alrighty, enjoy.
for crit critical of 38. I'm not sure if you saw that, but critical of 38 with this one. We'll see what the other one is. <laughs> Anyways, um, so 38 is critical damage on here. I'm just trying to add it. Critical hits, headshots, and one call it. Non critical hits is 28 of these. I think I'm going to do the shit. Heavy ammo on the way. 26, non critical, and 38. Uh, critical. And this one is a rare one, so you know, if you get a legendary one of these, it's gonna do a lot more than that. Heavy ammo available. Anyway, let's go back on to this. But I don't think so. I think it's still powerful to have blank. So um, we're in the bush. That's what I'm saying. Top button. There we go. Anyway, it's just running the playbook. So it's not. Another side class or the other side class right now. Nice right, sucker.
I ain't gonna lie, it's the best of Crucible, guys. <laughs> So now we're gonna switch it up to this one and uh let you know on that. <laughs> so I would say personally I think um the high impact and low firing pulse rifles are still worth using. Um but the um the uh, and also so now we got this one which is a good at, you know decent fire rate and uh decent impact. It's not as good as the one we just had, but it'll be a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna show you. I mean it's not gonna do as much damage as the other one, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh if my camera cuts out I apologize, it probably will. Um so uh just enjoy it. <laughs> For the lack of time I got left on it. <laughs> Maybe a bare camera. Anyways, so that is that one as you see, comparison wise oh snap. Comparison wise Rain fire is, you know, up a little bit. Impact is up definitely compared to that one. Actually, I don't even think this is the best one yet. I think the best one. I didn't pull my spare chain on, but uh. Anyways, yep. Range. So this is just one of the few high or low high impact, low firing pulse rifles. It's not as good as the spare change or the hopscotch pilgrim because the impact was a lot higher than the rate of fire was. So about the same. But anyway, this is just the uh, taking one and the newer taking king ones. Um and so we're doing the Apple of Discord.
gonna say I'm probably one of the worst crucible players you'll ever see on here. Um, I used to be really good at it. I just stopped playing it. And So there you go guys, um, sorry this is bad gameplay, but I'm gonna be honest, in my opinion I think both of which are good weapons to use, high fire rating, uh, the, I would, what I would recommend to you guys is when you're running with these pulse rifles, I recommend you have a high impact, low fire rating pulse rifle, 
or um, also this type of a pulse rifle where it got decent rate of fire and decent impact, just like um, the Chosen, I believe it's called. The Chosen uh, from uh, Expansion 2, which was the same stat wise. But anyways, yeah, so this is what I prefer. I mean, honestly, I prefer you guys to have the high. So anyways, um, uh, guys, I, I, what I prefer, well this is me personally, what I prefer is having the high impact, low fire rating, uh, pulse rifles, but this one is good too. Um, honestly, I would prefer either of these two, where the, it has the decent impact and decent fire rate. And I honestly rather have the Apple, uh, I'd rather have this one over the uh, high fire rating, or low fire rating and high impact ones. Anyway, so that is my video for today. Um, Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry I wasn't done gameplay, but uh, like I said, it's been a while since I've done Crucible, so. Anyway, so, for facts, um, I prefer you guys, I, uh, this is me saying to you guys that go for these type of pulse rifles, like the one that they have on, the uh, Lord Shax has, where it's that decent impact and yet a good fire rate. Go with these ones, make sure it has third eye or something like that, or if you're a hunter, use metal head radar. I got here. Um, anyways, so thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, sorry it wasn't the best gameplay, but anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I will see you on my next video. Later.